Hey there, it's John and Mike from BrewDashDudes.com, and if you uh, were watching last week, you probably know we were talk, uh, talking about New Val. What's the New Albion? New Albion. New Albion's uh, beer that uh, Sam Adams is brewing, and uh, we were just sitting around talking about it, musing about uh, this smash brew, and Mike's actually gonna brew a smash brew of his own. And really, it's about experimenting and trying to figure out something about the brew process. And what is that you're trying to figure out? Well, one of the things that started to concern me, I, it's something I've never really tackled in my brewing, is starting to think about water chemistry. Mm. I think water chemistry is a topic that a lot of brewers fret over. They think about it. They wonder about it. Um, John Palmer has a, a huge part of how to brew dedicated to it. Um, some parts of it are pretty clear and straightforward, but I think some parts of it are still confusing. Um, I'm a biochemist and I admit that a lot of water chemistry in some of those texts confuses me. Um, there's a new big book coming out to go with the yeast and the hops right. books that are out right now. A uh, water chemistry book written by um, John Palmer and I think Colin Comiskey is the uh, second author on that. So before this new Albion beer came out, I actually purchased uh, a, a half a pound of Cascade pellet hops myself. Because what I wanted to do is I wanted to brew two beers <laughs> Potentially smash beers, but I kind of have a pale ale base recipe that I like to use, which has got some base malt and some Munich in it. Mm. But what I really want to do is I wanted to brew two beers. One, just using our standard water here up in the, you know north of Boston, um, and then make some conscious decisions about upping mineral content in the beer, namely calcium levels. Mm -hmm. um, because in the water reports that I've looked at so far, uh, and we can work on trying to maybe post one of those in the future, you know, we'll try to build posts that actually go through the math of what I'm thinking about doing for water chemistry, how much mineral equals so much ppm per gallon, things like that. Um, but that's for a future future discussion. But you know, our water is relatively deficient in calcium, which is important for things like uh, yeast flocculation, um, and sulfate levels are fairly low, which is important for kind of brightness in your mm -hmm. hop character. Our chloride levels are kind of low. I mean, we have very, very soft water. Yeah. So I'd really just first pass water chemistry. Before I dive into really understanding it, let me try to make an ideal water profile and brew the same beer with both to see if it makes a difference. Um, because I've been brewing with this water for 15 years. Yeah. And I think the beers are pretty good. But it's all about you know refining your process to try to make better beer, more enjoyable beer. Um, just being a better brewer, at least that's, that's why I'm in the game. And um, so water chemistry moving forward, I think that's the, the plan for upcoming brew sessions. Uh, I mean, it was our plan for this year anyway, absolutely. trying to get, get that uh, going. It kind of came out of the Masters of Brew, uh, Lagers uh, series. Yes, and well, uh, water, water chemistry becomes even more important. Well, there you go, there you go. So uh, over the next uh, couple of weeks, couple of months, uh, Mike's going to be working on water chemistry. And, um, you know, I think we're just going to start experimenting for the sake of the blog. Uh, I know that uh, we've read comments about uh, we should uh, be testing out, you know, rather than just writing about hot varieties, actually try them out in beers. We can do that too. But uh, I think water chemistry is going to be the, the first topic we tackle. And you know, hopefully you'll uh, join us for the uh, adventure, this journey. Is that what they say nowadays? Yeah. I don't know. So that's, uh, that's our idea for, you know, the next coming, uh, you know, period of time to uh, research and, and learn more about water chemistry. And, home brewing. Uh, until next time, uh, this is John and uh, that guy's Mike and uh, we'll be brewing on. Cheers.